Hi everyone, YouTube Taigi here and welcome to my video. Today's quick guide will be the Japan Submarine. There's a lot to talk about this topic, so let's dive in. Japan Submarine are probably the most diverse of all major nations in the world. They have three categories, first, second, and third class submarine. First class submarine is a submarine that possesses long range, sometimes with or without aviation facilities, can lay mines, and is transporting cargo. They're easily recognizable with I in their names. This is where the most shipped crew is based on. The former have 10 classes, Kaidai, Junsen, A, B, C, T, Kiraisen, Senho, Sentoku, and Sentaka class. Second class submarine is a submarine that have shorter range and smaller than the first class. They are recognizable with Rho in their names. The former have three class, K, L, and KS type. Third class submarine, this sub has the shortest range and mainly used as either transports or high speed subs. They are recognizable with Ha in their names. They have two subclasses, Senyusho and Setaka Shou class. These cars are built in early 1920 to 1943 based on German World War I sub, U-139. At the beginning of the war, they added one in their name. For example, I-67 became I-167. It has nine subclasses. I-16 was in the KD-6B subclass. Only eight subs survived the war and two scrapped before the war. This based on the German World War I submarine, U-142, built from 1923 to 1938 and had four subclasses. I-8 was in J-3 subclass. <laughs> None survived the war. This class of submarine was built as a command ship for submarine squadrons and can carry float planes. Built from 1938 to 1945, it has three subclasses. I-13 and I-14 were in AIM-2 subclass. <laughs> <laughs> Only one ship in the class survived. These cars are similar to Type A, but with headquarters installations. Built from 1938 to 1944, it has three subclasses. I-19 and I-26 were in B-1 subclasses. <laughs> that makes some sisters. And I-58 was in B subclasses. <laughs> Two ships survived the war. Built from 1937 to 1944, these class are better armed but can't carry or launch aircraft other than midget submarines. And in later years, Kaiten, there are three subclasses, and I-47 was in C2 subclass. <laughs> Only two ships survived. These are the transport submarines built from 1943 to 45 that carries goods and stuff, usually armed with or without torpedoes. Some subs armed with S torpedo. There are two subclasses, and four ships survived the war. These are the only Japanese sub that can launch mines. Just like Kaidai class, they were added one in their name at the start of the war. Built from 1924 to 1928, only four in their class, and one survived. These subs were built to carry fuel. That's it. Japan finished one of them, but she's all but sunk. If you think a submarine carrying planes with ridiculous range or something, you ain't seen nothing yet. These subs outranging every Japanese and other nation's subs by twice and carried not one or two but three float planes. Built from 1943 to 1945, only three ships in the class, all of them survived the war. <laughs> Imagine submarine Shimakaze, but not on surface speed but underwater. It's not even close. Built in 1945, three of them were built but survived the war without achieving anything. <laughs> These class of sub are the prototype. Built from 1919 to 1922, consists of two subclasses, which didn't serve in World War II and immediately scrapped. Now these class were used in the Pacific Seas, and it was built from 1917 to 44. It had seven subclasses with two subclasses served to World War II, while the others were scrapped. Out of 20 ships, only one survived the war. These class were based from UK's L-class submarine, very original. Built from 1918 to 1924, these class of submarine have four subclasses, but only L4 served in World War II, while others scrap or use as a training sub. Four ships survived. These small sub were designed as a coastal defense sub. You heard it right. Built from 1941 to 44, there are 18 ships in the class, but none survived the war. These class were used as a tanker submarine, just like Seno type. Except way smaller. In order to increase production time, no torpedo tubes were installed. Built from 1944 to 45, it has 10 ships in the class, but after the war, they were immediately scrapped. Imagine the Senta class, but smaller and a bit slower. Yep, this one's quick defense submarine. Built in just as the time as a Senta class, 10 ships survived the war, but immediately scrapped. 
So far, we have two foreign ships that serve IGN in Tancoli. U5.1 was renamed Ro 500 and Luigi Torelli was renamed I-401. Why Luigi was regarded as the first class while you in the second class? I don't know yet. Wait. There's more. No. Marui, or Type 3 Submergence Transport Vehicle. Mario Itza was a nickname. In 1943, when the war wasn't going so hot for Japan, IGA wanted to build a submarine for transporting men and supplies. Built from 1943 to 45, the class itself had 38 ships, only lost 4 in the war. Mario in the game representing all the 38 ships. Thank you for watching.